All right, guys, our next guest, I'm joined by Lachlan Burr from the New Zealand Warriors. Lockie, how are you today? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good. Awesome to have you on, mate. Now, let's um, go over the past couple of years for yourself before we get into things. So you come back from the United Kingdom. Um, you win the ISP title with the Doggies, and then you're named the ISP Player of the Year for the Bulldogs. Uh, first of all, how was that experience in 2018? Um, yeah, mate, didn't have the best experience in um, the UK, so to come back and uh, play for the Bulldogs um, last year and get our um, ISP player and uh, win the comp was something really special. So, yeah, didn't have the best time in the UK, but coming back to Australia and uh, um, joining with my old club was, um, yeah, it was very something special to me. Okay, let's talk about the UK briefly. You said you didn't enjoy your time over there. Was that due to cultural differences? Were you unsettled, missing family? What was the main contributing factors there? Um, mate, it was just the clubs I went to. So I went to Bradford Bulls and after two weeks of being there, they um, went into liquidation and um, wasn't really sure what I was going to do there for a month, whether I was going to come home and then got uh, picked up by Lee and Tunes and um, footy-wise, I had a pretty good year there, but um, we ended up um, getting relegated into the second grade. So in mm. um, there, when, when that happens, yeah, yeah, a lot of guys lose their jobs and things like that. So um, I had a three-year contract there, which ended up getting terminated. So I ended up having just to come back to Australia, really, so start from the bottom. Mm. So um, it was good to sort of, you know what I mean, like having a tough year over there and then coming back. And then yeah, even though I started from the bottom, working and everything like that um, and playing footy part-time, it was good to um, yeah get have a good season last year. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. So you're a little bit unsettled in a new country. You come back to Australia, you definitely find your feet. You play some of your best football. So how hard was it to leave to another country again and sign with the New Zealand Warriors? Um, mate, New Zealand's not as far as the UK, as you know. So it wasn't really, it was nothing, mate. It's only, it's only two and a half hour flight. So sure. um, I think to move to a different country and have a fresh start and um, speaking to Steve Kearney and where they wanted me and just to get another opportunity to sort of prove myself. I'm getting a bit older now, so I um, don't have much time left. So mm. I sort of... Yeah, so this is sort of a second chance for me, so I want to try and um, take it with both hands. Okay, so you touched on Steve Coney there. Obviously, he gave you a call and talked to you before the move. What was something he said that convinced you to join the club? Oh, he just told me that um, he sort of needed a, needed a feeling with Simon Menery, needed a hard worker. Um, he'd watched me play before, so he said he knows, he knows how hard I work and um, my energy through the middle of the field, so he said, um, he said I'm feeling quite well, So, so yeah. Yeah, no doubt. You touched on there that you haven't struggled too much with the move, so it's safe to say you've settled in well. You're enjoying the club culture? Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying it. They're, um, they're a big family club. Everyone's made me feel really, really welcome. My um, girlfriend's got here so um, the last few months, a few months ago, so she's settling in well. I'm um, really enjoying it so far. Awesome to hear. And, you know, the Warriors do have a very formidable forward pack. Is there any player or players in particular that have really taken you under their wing, you know, shown you the culture or helped your game improve at all this offseason? Um, mate, they're, they're a pretty young forward pack, to be honest with you. I, I got Adam Blair, who's um, the senior senior player, but um, yep. most of the boys, are, it's a pretty young pack. So, like, they're all still learning as well, but they're all keen to learn. Um, they've definitely got, um, yeah, we're de- definitely going to have a good year, I think. So, um Everyone helping each other, all learning and stuff. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you touched on a young forward pack there. Everyone, I guess, fighting for positions. Is that sort of the environment you think you're thriving in? Yeah, but man, that's good. That's good. You need something like that. Everyone competing. Mm-hmm. Being the best out of players. So, um, it's something that um, they've got going at the moment. Good, good young forwards coming through. So, it's going to be a battle for spots. But, yeah, you want that. Now, Lockie, before we touch on pre-season, I can hear some police sirens in the background there. You haven't been a naughty boy? Nah, mate, <laughs> I'll be right next to a jail, so I'm not eating jail, so there's a few cops okay. always coming in and out. So. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, well, let's touch on pre-season now. What has been your focus moving to the new club? Is it one area in your game you want to improve, or is there anything that you've really set your goal on this off-season? Um, just being a consistent, just playing consistent footy and being in the team week in, week out, not being um, a player who sort of plays one game here and there, just consistent footy and being a consistent first grader. That's my main goal. Has Stephen Kearney or any of the coaching staff sat you down and sort of had a talk about your expectations or where you're at ahead of this season? Um, I've, I've had a little chat here and there, but it's more just focusing on myself, knowing my role and um, executing it well. So, yeah, I just want to try and focus on having playing good in the trials and making sure I'm in that selection for yeah. um, round one against the Bulldogs. So, 
No doubt. Let's touch on the Warriors as an organization and as a club now. Have you noticed a, a club focus or something that as a culture or is it an area you guys want to improve? Is there anything that the Warriors are really focused on um, this offseason? I think just being in the top four. We're, um, they had a good season last year. They want to try and build off that. So um, I think, yeah, just building off last season, building some momentum and um, being a top four um, contender. No doubt. And the trial game was last Friday, your first hit out in the new colours. Uh, straight away, let's go. What was your takeaway from the game? Something uh, you can take away from that, either, whether it's a positive or a negative. Um, did you personally take anything away from that experience? Um, yeah, it was pretty special. Put the Warriors jersey on for the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the boys, like in a trial, it's always going to be a bit messy. But I think um, I think we played fairly well. We didn't drop the ball too much. Um, Storm struggled to complete and we capitalised on that. So... I think as a first hit out as a club, I think it was really, really good, especially yeah. against the Storm, who are usually pretty dominant. Exactly. Yeah, no doubts there. Let's talk about the club's takeaway. Did the coaching staff have much to say after the game? Um, yeah, they just said, just got to keep building on it. It, it, it is only a trial. But um, yeah, just keep building for round one and um, just keep getting better and keep learning. No doubt. And let's uh, ask you one more question for that you go today, Lockie. What is your 2019 main goal? What's one thing where... This time next year, you look back at 2019 and you, you're proud, something you're really proud of or um, happy that you could have accomplished. I um, just want to play NRL again, mate. Just want to try and be in there, be in the mix. Um, be a consistent first grader. That's what I want to be. No doubt, Lockie. Well, it's great to have you back in the NRL. I wish you all the best for the upcoming season. Thanks a lot for coming on today. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for that. Cheers.